Hey guys, it's Reject, and I'm here today to give you my thoughts on a brand new game called Everspace. I've had a chance in the past couple of days to play um, some on my stream. Played for about uh, just over 10 hours, and I think I got a pretty good idea. And so without further ado, why don't we go ahead and jump into it? Alright, so first off, what is Everspace? Well, it's a space combat roguelike. Uh, for those who don't know what a roguelike is, it's a game where you play through it um, with the expectation that you will die. Um, but when you do die, you start over at the beginning, and you gain a little bit of experience. Um, in this case, in Everspace, you gain some credits that you can use to improve your abilities to maybe go a little bit farther. Uh, most of what Everspace includes is uh, a lot of combat. You also look for loot along the way, and you try to get as far as you possibly can. So that's the basics of what Everspace is. So what is it like to play Everspace? Well. When I first started, it was tough. I died a lot. Uh, but what I found is that playing through it, I got better at it, um, learned a little bit, uh, learned a little bit of the game, about the mechanics of how to fight, how to battle through um, various different enemies. As I played through the game, I learned more and more about it and how to get better at the combat, what weapons did better. Also, when I would die and I would improve my uh, abilities, I learned which ones were most important, which ones I really should focus on so that I could get a little bit farther in the game. So what are my general thoughts about Everspace? The very first thing that you, I will tell you about Everspace is that it is a beautiful game. That was the very first thing that popped out to me when I played it. it just It's stunning visually. There's so much to look at, and everything is really manufactured down to the de last minute detail. It's just very pretty. It's a beautiful game. It is extremely difficult to play in the beginning, but as you get used to it, it gets a little bit easier. I mean, it's very typical of a roguelike. Uh, roguelikes are not games where you're going to play through the entire game and not die once. In roguelikes, you're expected to die. It's, it is an expectation. Um, but as you play through it, you get better and better, and you find more and more. So the other thing I've really noticed about Everspace is it is fun to play. The combat is challenging, but it's not impossible. And you feel like you actually have to have skill to defeat your enemies, rather than just a point and click and easy AI kind of stuff. There's actually some challenge to it, and you feel when you do defeat an enemy that you have some competence and some skill. Also, as far as I can tell in the game, there's a lot of variety. Lots of different enemies, lots of different um, abilities, lots of different loot that you can find that will make each playthrough, each time you go through Everspace, unique and different. And you also encounter random uh, events within the game as well. You'll find um, electrical fields, black holes, um, tr bases lined with mines and traps and turrets. Uh, you'll find loot crates that you need keys for. There is so much depth to this game, so many different ways to play it. It truly is a fascinating game. So that gets to my overall impressions of it. It's a good game. It's a really good game. And I have really enjoyed playing it. So would I recommend it? Well, if you like roguelikes, if you like space combat, absolutely. I would definitely recommend this game. It is. It kind of hits those buttons. I really enjoy playing roguelikes. I really enjoy playing space games. So it really hit both of those buttons for me, and I really have enjoyed it. Uh, the list priced on Steam right now is thirty dollars. I would say the game is probably closer to about a twenty-five dollar value, uh, but not too much off. If you do see it on Steam for sale for twenty-five, absolutely pick it up. But I think you'd also get a lot of value out of it for thirty. The game is in early access, so they will be adding more to the game as the days and months go along. They're talking about adding two new ships to the game in um, October and November, as well as a story mode. But even without those additional elements, it does feel like a complete, fully fleshed out game. Uh, I haven't encountered any bugs, uh, except for one small one where uh, loot will sometimes spawn inside of an object that you just can't get to. Other than that, no problems whatsoever. I've had a blast playing it, so if you like roguelikes and you like space combat games, I would definitely say check it out. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe. You can also check out, I've got a full gameplay video, uh, highlights from my stream that you can check out as well. So that link you'll find below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you, next, see you tomorrow here from Reject.